And who are you? I'm Max. It is, uh, are you walking? Yes. I see. I'm using a selfie stick. I see. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. I am from Maya. Hello. What is it that you want to know? Are you a human? Yes. Uh, have you been born? Uh, have you been born on Earth? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, can you tell your story? How did you get to Maya? Well, yes. I guess I could tell you. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've been here. Mm -hmm. I've been here about 60 years. Uh huh. It and was. How old that... Yes. How old were you uh, when you came? 20. Uh huh. I was very young. Uh -huh. But my family was gone. And I was alone, mm -hmm. but I had a lot of interesting hobbies. I was, I had many insects that I collected. Mm -hmm. I had different things that I collect, stones that I collected. And I was pretty much aware of all the names and all the uh, attributes of the stones and different insects. Oh, did you speak before? I think the previous person who was, who was from my also collected insects and stones. Yes. Oh, so what is your name? I did not give it. Oh, there was a name there. It's on the surface of my memory, but it doesn't show up. Okay, so we spoke before. <laughs> We are the type that they are interested in bringing. But did you speak like a couple of weeks ago? No. Oh, I see. But so they bring similar people to these places because we adapt easily into what they are going to use us for. Okay, very interesting. So they select people who are interested in uh, insects and stones. And other things that other collectible items that can be very usable. Oh, I see. And if, and if you have a great memory of these things, they realize that the, you can be useful, if, especially if you know the Latin names for all things and are able to know what plants and animals are all around. You see, I had no one to really talk to. So I studied plants, animals, stones, insects, and many things that were in my environment. And I did not have many people around me. So when they took me, nobody really missed me. They just figured I had wandered off into the woods. Uh-huh. Uh, what country did you come from? I was from Romania. Oh. Uh, and uh, so you said 60 years ago, uh, would it be the same period in Earth time? So it was like um, 2017 minus 16? Correct. 47, I think it's, it's well, maybe. Yeah. And I was about 20 years old. 50, no, it's 57, right? 1957. Romania. Yes. I see. I see. So it was a Soviet Romania. Yes. <laughs> I see. Why, why did you want to speak to me? Oh, uh, first, uh, uh, so yeah, we just want to learn about alien worlds and uh, to understand uh, and for, for about the alien worlds from human perspective. So I'm trying to understand who you are and how do you perceive it. The Mayans are a wonderful group of people, and there are several humans here. Not 
not millions, but a few thousand. And um, we help them with their understanding of humanity and their understanding of the things of humanity. We have given, we are teachers to their children, teaching them about these insects, rocks, and different things about human, humanity and Earth. So we are considered experts when it comes to uh, the ecology or things or nature of the Earth. Okay, natural sciences. So we teach their children about these things so that someday when they do come to Earth, they will know exactly what is what. Excellent. So are you dealing with hybrid children as well? Yes, I have uh, at least three hybrid children in one of my classes. Uh, so they would be hybrids between Mayans and Earthans? Uh, yes, Mayans and humans, Pleiadians and humans. Uh-huh. And one of them is a Pleiadian uh, Lyran hybrid. That's very uh -huh. interesting but very friendly, very intelligent, and um, actually not, it's actually very cute. It looks like a, um, it could be a, a lovely pet, but it's an actual very intelligent being. Would it be big? It is rather large. It's at uh -huh. least uh, uh, because of the Pleiadians are tall and the Lyrans are tall, it's at, in the seven foot range. Uh huh. But it's so, very adorable in many ways. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's more like a cat? It looks like a cat, yes. And it has sort of a bluish fur. It's very cute, though. I see. I see. Uh huh. So, um, how different is uh, the school? in Maya from, from Earthen School? They're quite different, actually. I, in my classes, I have more than one, but in my classes, um, I may have seven different age ranges or eight different age ranges, but they're all on the same intellectual level or grade level as far as the subject matter. Uh-huh. So when, you're, when they are going through a school system, which some of them like to do for the, some of the parents like that because they get to learn social skills, but you may have many different age groups in one class, but they are all learning at the same uh, level, meaning that they have uh, come up through they might have started in different places, but this is where they're at now in that certain subject. And so as they reach me when I'm teaching about either insects or stones or plants and animals, flora and fauna, um, they, will, um, they will be all in line as far as understanding because this is their next this is something they want to learn at this time. And I have no trouble communicating to all of them. How many people do you have per class? Probably seven or eight, maybe nine. Uh-huh. Uh, and one teacher? Yes. Are they all physically present? They are, well, no. In some cases, there are no teachers that teach certain subjects like this on Palana yet. And so I do have a couple on monitors from Palana. Ah, what kind of monitors are those? They're, well, I don't know how to explain them other than they are holographic monitors. I can see them as if they were there, but I can tell that they are holographic. What's the difference? How can you tell? Um, there are disturbances in the energy field sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is and there so, a frame or are they, are they, is there a frame for the monitor or is it just 
a figure of people of, of a person it's a frame for the monitor yes they're inside of a frame but it is full size ah i see uh if you walked into the monitor would, it, would you crush it well you would disturb the energy field you would not crash it but I the see. energy field might be disturbed enough to stop mm -hmm. So the frame is physical or is it also uh, just holographic? It's holographic. Oh, okay. They um, send the whole thing. They're inside their own little area. Mm -hmm. It's all holographic. And if you walk into that energy field, you will feel the sensation of the energy field, but you will disrupt it probably enough to stop the feed. I see. Um, so, how much more technology is used uh, other than holography for the teaching? There are many things that are, the technology is much higher than Earth's. The, the textbooks or the information, I use a board of information and I can send this information to their uh, computers if you want to call them computers they're very small they're uh -huh. like they're like your telephones except smaller <laughs> and they can uh convert into holographic form so that the information can be displayed i see so um is is it still a third dimension right no Actually, I, they have built a third dimension area for me and for all those humans that are here. We live uh -huh. in a third dimensional area, but uh -huh. they, the uh, actual Mayans and Pol oh. Polonians live in fourth dimension, but are there in front of me in some form or another so that they can be in the class. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. But since I am third dimension, they have to set it up for me. I see. So um, is the time format similar to ours? Is it kind of 45 minute class and then a break? Uh, it is a, yes. Actually, it translates into 48 minutes Earth time. Uh huh. And how many classes do you have per day? I have three. I see. Uh, is there a practical work like doing something, participating? Is, but I do have a lot of free time to do what, what I wish to do. And there are lots of, there are about several thousand humans here in one area of the planet that they have made into a third dimensional area for us. So we can actually have our theaters and malls and third dimensional getaways as well. What kind of finances do you use? I have, they have given me a home and I get to choose food every three days. So I never go hungry. And um, there's clothing that they have, we can select. There are we can select things from um, the areas of, uh, I don't know what you call it, advancement, I guess. As you are, as you put in so much time, you gain credit so that you oh. may get uh, many different things. Excellent. So there is uh, exchange, an exchange system which is not using money, right? Correct. Uh, so... What is used then? Uh, they use a measurement of time because they find time to be very valuable. Oh, so instead of money, you use just time. Um, is it like measured in hours or something like that? Yes, you could say I have, uh, I have uh, given, I volunteered 37 units of time. And so that translates into 37 uh, bits of uh, privilege or value. 
Okay. What are units of time? What 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 are the units that are using for exchange? Units of time. Is what it hours or something else? What units do you? No, use? they do not use hours. They have their own time system, and uh -huh. we go by that. Okay. So how big is their unit? I would say every three to five minutes is a unit. Okay. I see. Depend. Uh, it also depends on what you're teaching and how um, difficult it is and things of that nature. So there is some differentialities on that. Ah. So is that system used only in the human part or is it uh, universal? No, they for use that in the Mayan portion as well. We, so are good as we are considered equals. Oh. Mm -hmm. To consider us anything but equals would be discrimination. Right. Uh, do the students pay for their studies? Yes. So their parents pay or how does it work? Their parents, uh, you see, the children, uh, go by a different set of units until they are of a certain age. But they do not have to pay much for education because it's considered necessary. So the parents will pay a very small amount to the a very small amount of units to the government and then they would get a, an education. So it is subsidized, subsidized by the government, right? Yes. Are there taxes? Not as, no, I don't think, no. I but, know uh, I don't pay taxes, no. But do people have to uh, submit some of their time to the public work and not to get paid for that? If you submit yourself to time for public work, you get paid for it accordingly. If, but usually volunteer time uh, gets a less amount of credits. I see. Uh-huh. So, so for the system to work, the government has to have some income in terms of units. So they have to get it some from somewhere. So yes. people just don don donate their time there? Or is it the, obligatory? The industries give the, uh, a portion of their earnings to the government if they make a profit. I see. Mm -hmm. But if they do not make a profit, they do not have to give anything. So there is a substitute for tax. It's just not called money. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. Um, so uh, have you traveled outside of the planet? Once. Ah. Where did I did go? go to ERA one time. How different was it? Actually, um, there are some similarities, but it is a darker planet. Maya is lighter. It has a lighter, uh, more, s it's sunnier. Uh, ERA is a darker, it doesn't have as much sunlight. But so it, you look it is still very beautiful and has beautiful architecture, and they light it. Uh, very beautifully. They put lights on it. Oh, how different is it from human? Um, it's very, era is very different from human. Maya is light-wise much closer. In fact, it might be a little brighter than humans. Uh, do you see uh, like different number of moons or something? Like, can you tell, looking at the sky, tell where, which planet is that? Um, the sky is rather uh, conflicted at times, so you don't see many stars, but the weather is still rather nice. The light gets through well, but there's a, a lot of clouds because it is a little brighter. I think there's a lot more evaporation of liquids. Uh-huh. So other moons? Moons, yes. There are. Can you see them? Yes. How many? I think there's two. Okay, on Ere or on Maya? Maya. 
Okay, and how about the era? They have more than two, I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, um, are the, uh, how different are the errands from, uh, from Mayans? Is it the same race or is it different races? They are similar in many ways. Skin color is darker on Maya, uh, a little, because uh, I, I think that it is, no, I mean, skin color is darker on Era and a mm -hmm. little lighter on Maya. Oh, I see. So the errands would correspond to which of the uh, earthen races? What'd you say? Which of the earthen races would, would correspond in skin color to errands? Like Indians no, or uh, Africans? They're, they're a darker blue than the, than the Mayans are a, are a more medium or lighter blue. Oh, so all blue. So Not uh, do, do, they, do they, blue. Different shades of blue. And there are some that have some pink and blue, which makes like a purplish look. And there's some mm -hmm. that have a sort of um, a reddish tinge to them, but mostly blue. Do they have red blood? Um, no, I do not think mines have red blood. I've really never seen any of their blood. There is a lot of human blood on television. Yes, but I don't see Mayan blood. There's no, I've not seen Mayan blood. No one ever hurts themselves or cuts themselves because right. when I see them in class, they're actually not really present. So, so when you study the animals, you should know the, blue, the color of the blood on the planet. Is it red or blue? I would think that the Mayans are blue. I mean, on the Maya, the animals have uh, blue oh, blood? I don't teach about the Mayan animals. I teach only about the human things. I see. I see. Okay. But the, there are Mayan animals. I have seen Mayan animals and studied them a little bit. I don't teach them, but I've studied them a little bit. And they do have blue blood. Oh, wow. So is it copper-based, I guess? I would think so, yes. Uh -huh. There is some, I, I'm looking more at the, where the, the structure of the um, organs and where they're placed and things of that nature. Uh -huh. Very interesting when I was looking into the, some of the uh, information about the animal life there. It was very, very interesting. So politically, do you see the difference between Era and Maya? Do I see political differences? Yes. They have kingship. They are both run by kings. But these kingships are not inherited, are they? Is it the inherited? Position? Actually, it is, uh -huh. unless they become unfit. I see. Uh -huh. And then a new family is elected. I see. Uh -huh. Um. So, are you following the Earth News? Not a lot. It doesn't concern me. Uh huh. Do you have a family? Yes. Uh, is it a human family? Yes. Uh, is your wife er born on Earth? Yes, she was. Uh -huh. She is younger than me by about six years, but she was born on Earth. Uh, what country did she come from? She came from Australia. I see. So how did you, uh, what language do you speak? I speak English, mostly. Uh-huh. I see. And uh, do you have children? I have one. Uh, and what language does that child speak? What? What language does a child speak? Pleiadian and English. So that would be Mayan and Pleiadian? Or do, do the Mayans and Lerans have the same language? No. Lerans is a t totally different language. No, no. A Mayans and Errans. Oh, Errans have a similar but different language. It's a different colloquialism. It has some similar words, but there are 
You have to learn it if you, if you were going to live there because it is that much different. But there are some words that are the same. I see. So um, is your child, uh, what dimension is of your child? Third dimension. I see. Uh huh. So, what's his future? Would he still live on uh, in that uh, human community on Maya? He will. He will be able to move off of Maya if he wishes to at the age of sixteen. Uh huh. Is he considering coming back to Earth? I do not know. He he is only four. I see. Do you think it is a possibility? I do not know. Uh-huh. Would you be against that? I might be. It I depends. See. I do not like the condition that Earth is in right now, so it, it might be a problem. I see. Uh-huh. So because, of he, because he is to third dimensional, so he would be limited to third dimensional worlds if he wants to travel, right? Yes. I see. So when you travel on the ship, you also have to be in a third dimensional part of the ship, right? Oh, yes. I see. So we're about to, to end our time. Do you have anything else to say to our viewers? Viewers. Just that do your best to maintain a positive world. This world is miraculous in that sense whereas the world that you are living on is very complicated and confused please do your best to look outside of your own family un unit to do some good in the world it will take more than a couple people to change it and it will take more than just looking to see what's going on, but you must be active. Thank you. So if you want to invite you again, uh, what name or nickname could we use? I'm Kaler. Kaler. That is my Pleiadian Pala name. Kaler. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, it was, uh, it's actually very fascinating to speak to humans from other worlds and feel the, the other worlds through you. I, I, I was able to connect um, on a deeper level as well. So that was very nice experience. Thank you very much. Thank you. Be well. Have a good day. Good day.